Qubits, the bits used in quantum computers, should actually be four-dimensional. Qubits should be 4D. But they're not, and here's why. First, it's easiest to understand dimension by way of an example. A curve that can be completely described by a single number is a one-dimensional object. For example, your position on the equator can be described by a single number, its longitude. A 2D area can be described by two numbers, like the surface of the Earth with latitude and longitude. 3D requires an additional dimension, an additional number. For example, the radius, the distance from the center. You could be on the surface or below the surface or even far above it. The fourth dimension adds an additional number to this, but unfortunately in terms of space we cannot really visualize this anymore. A qubit is what quantum computers use instead of bits. The main difference is that a qubit isn't just 0 or 1, but can be partially 0 and 1. This mixture can be described by a direction in state space. This is 0, this is 1, and anything in between is a combination. Meaning, we need a number for 0 and another number for 1. This looks like we have two numbers, alpha and beta, but these are complex numbers, so they have a length and an angle each, meaning we have four numbers. Qubits are four-dimensional. Now, what does it mean that qubits have a length and an angle? Well, the angle is called the phase, and it only matters when you add up two qubits. An angle of zero means they add up just like numbers. An angle of 180 degrees means they subtract, and anything in between adds up to a new direction. While both alpha and beta have an angle, it turns out the only thing that matters is the relative angle. This means wherever alpha is pointing, it only matters where beta is pointing relative to that. In quantum physics, we say the global phase is irrelevant, only the relative phase matters. And with this, we have eliminated one number and are 3D now. A qubit being 0 and 1 at the same time actually means that you can get 0 or 1 when you measure it. And the length gives you the probability. Norm square of alpha is the probability to get 0, and the same with beta and 1. As the length of alpha and beta determine probabilities, they must always add up to 100% or 1. We say qubits are normalized to 1. The direction arrow will always be of length 1. This fixes another dimension. It means we are down to 2D. The state of a qubit can be described as the surface of a sphere, the so-called Bloch sphere. And that is why qubits are 2D, not 4D. Subscribe for more quantum computing.